Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and if you are watching this video, it means that you probably already heard that the new Bootstrap 5 has just been released or you just found out by reading the title of this video. One way or another, this is a fact. A most common front-end framework used on more than over 80 million pages has just released its new version and in this video, I will provide the answers to the most important questions which are What's new in Bootstrap 5 and how is it different from Bootstrap 4? How long it will take until the stable version will be released? I will also tell you whether you should learn Bootstrap 5 or Bootstrap 4 if you don't know Bootstrap yet. And finally, is Bootstrap 4 gonna be dead soon? So without further ado, let's jump into the first point. Okay guys, so let's see what's new, what has changed in Bootstrap 5. So this is the list of the most important changes starting with jQuery isn't required anymore but we're gonna talk about it a little bit later uh, in the details then they dropped support for Internet Explorer which allowed them to use uh, new cool features which weren't supported by Internet Explorer um, overall the use of JavaScript is minimized in favor of CSS and HTML so now each option is available as a data attribute for example if you work with toast you are now able to change its properties not only using JavaScript but also using data attribute they also enhanced um, a grid system uh, with new options um, Thanks to SAS um, and the variables, they also enhance modularity and customization. So if you worked with Bootstrap before, you knew that there were some options to customize it, but now it's like fully um, uh, customizable. Uh, you can easily create your own themes if you want. Um, there are some new components, helpers and utilities, and they also get rid of some components like Jumbotron. And last but not the least, definitely i would really like about this update that they uh, put a lot of attention and effort into their sets of own icons which are shipped uh, along uh, which is which is very cool there is like around 600 icons so they really did a great job here now let's get back to the uh, most important changes so bye bye jquery welcome javascript so jquery did a great job to a web development world i mean and it's used by millions or even billions of people over the last decade and a half. And they're getting rid of jQuery is one of the largest change to the framework in years and means project built on Bootstrap 5 will be significantly lighter on the file size and the page load moving forward. Um, but what is also important is that you can still use it in Bootstrap 5, it, I mean jQuery. So you can initialize any component um, as you used in Bootstrap 4 um, and they leave this, you know, this option to still initialize it uh, jQuery to use jQuery with Bootstrap 5 to fill this gap between Bootstrap 4 and 5 and ensure a smooth transition between uh, versions 4 and 5. CSS custom properties. So although in Bootstrap 4 there were already some variables, there were just few main ones. Uh, it's thanks to dropping support for Internet Explorer, Bootstrap 5 comes with a set new properties for almost any element, which makes it much easier to customize now. And you can see the one of the examples for the table customization. They also update the forms. So now with the single set of the form controls and the focus on redesigning existing elements uh, versus generating new ones via pseudo elements. And now we have a much more consistent look and feel. What they also change, they enhance and change a grid system, which you know from Bootstrap 4, which you know is one of the most um, amazing stuff about Bootstrap. So there is a new breakpoint, um, double large. Uh, they also change the gutter classes. So now you can easily use them uh, like this here, like G um, star. So you can, you can uh, customize uh, gutters using um, uh, horizontal vertical uh, adjustment uh, and there are a few more minor changes to that so to summarize what's new in bootstrap 5 so as far as components are concerned there are no major changes so we're gonna find them um, pretty much the same components which we had but they were all um, you know refreshed rebuilt 
with the with the with the fresh syntax and um, what uh, has changed its implementation of these components so so new bootstrap is now much better organized um you know and it's it's modular it's easily customizable which is definitely a good step forward and it's uh, making life of developers who wanted to adjust the library as well as, uh, as well as people who wanted to learn it uh, it will make their lives much easier now how long till stable version so if we look at the historical data the first alpha version of bootstrap 4 was released on august 2015 then it took them two years to release beta uh, in august 2017 and then the final stable version was re released at the beginning of uh, 2018. Uh, but this time it might be very different. Bootstrap team suggests that they will release next alpha release in three to four weeks. And after a few iterations like that, every couple of weeks, we should see a beta version and the final release should come by the end of the year, especially that after our test, alpha seems to be already very stable if you ask yourself whether you should already start learning bootstrap 4 or, or bootstrap 5 well the answer is it doesn't matter that much because luckily the syntax doesn't change that much and the core functionalities are pretty much the same obviously there are some um, things which are gonna be different but if you know already bootstrap 4 you will easily um, learn Bootstrap 5 very quickly and other way around. So if you start with Bootstrap 5 and uh, it will take longer than expected to get the stable release, you will you should be able to easily jump back to Bootstrap 4. So um, if you don't uh, have any legacy in your project and you are starting something new, well, I strongly encourage you to start with Bootstrap 5 and see how it works because it has a lot more new features, uh, which makes using it much more comfortable for you. And we prepared a video for you so you can find uh, one and a half crash course on Bootstrap 5 already in the description down below. Uh, so just give it a try, see how do you like it. And if you like, uh, and if you have to build some um, stable version of the page, you can still use Bootstrap 4, which is uh, already there for a few years. It's tested and it's, uh, it's doing its job. And finally, does it mean that Bootstrap 4 is going to be dead? Well, obviously, when the Bootstrap 5 will be released, and that's going to happen hopefully this year, Bootstrap 4 won't be developed anymore, which means that sooner or later, people will move to the Bootstrap 5. But what is important here is that since Bootstrap 5 dropped support for Internet Explorer, there will be still um, important projects for some you know, or governmental organization or huge corporates, which will require you to support Internet Explorer, which means the project you're gonna build will have to support Internet Explorer, which means that the Bootstrap 4 as a very a mature product and library which perfectly do what is it meant for will probably stay with us for another few years okay guys so thank you for watching i hope that now you have a better understanding on what has changed in bootstrap 5 and when to expect a stable release of this version and in the meantime i strongly encourage you to check our bootstrap 5 crash course where in one and a half hour you're gonna learn all important stuff on bootstrap 5 so how to use grid how to use utilities how to use components all required knowledge in the essence within just uh, one and a half crash course totally for you for you so just check the description down below and see you soon